Welcome to vlog week 64. We're starting this week off in bed. It's a Tuesday. I need to give you guys an update with chubby cheek guang. Look at this massive bruise. So you beat me up? I ain't denying it. Help guys, help. Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> Oh, I calm down. Anyways, I need to get up because I need to film. Have we got the vibrator in the back again? All the time we got the vibrator in the back, we've got the lube in the back. People spotted that lube one time in our vlog, you know? I got so many comments. I was like, damn, we all nasty up in here if we know that silhouette of that bottle. Yesterday, I was literally watching TikToks and I just started crying. I need to show you the TikTok that I cried on. It was such a beautiful TikTok that I cried because it was just so sweet. And nothing hurts anymore, I feel kind of can't wait for that feeling of like feeling free. I'm getting like emotional just thinking about it. But I remember when we went to Dubai and on Christmas day, me and Danny ran into the sea. And I think I actually vlogged that moment of like feeling so, so happy. That feeling of like feeling free after being stuck in a pandemic and being able just to go and have a spontaneous trip. I think I'll remember that feeling for the rest of my life. I want that feeling again. I feel trapped. I feel like I would feel that free feeling when I eventually move into our own house right babe also today marks the day one year of lockdown wow really and the first ever started oh my god just that information alone will make you cry and shed a tear it really shows you how much you've done in a year and we've done nothing <laughs> what do we have to show for a whole year nothing i'm still counting last year as 2019 last year 2020 we don't count that year okay no one talks about that year also how sad was it the other day we looked at the calendar and it was exactly one year ago since bruiser passed away and that was also during lockdown i remember we all wasn't allowed to go inside with him it was only one person allowed and it was so so sad the day i went to surgery is the day that bruiser passed away a year ago oh Oh my god, it's the patch, it's the patch, it's bringing all kinds of emotions out of me. Well, hello there, I have some makeup on. I feel like I need a heart to heart. I need someone to kick me up the ass and be like, tweet, everything's gonna be okay. Today, I honestly started off the day so excited. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna film today. I'm gonna feel like a bad bitch today. And just before I sat down filming, I got an email from my mortgage broker today, basically saying that they're kind of struggling a little bit trying to put through the mortgage because the bank is looking through all of our accounts this year and saying that, oh, there's a big drop in what accounts we submitted in the last two years. And I'm gonna try to get through this without getting emotional. My whole life, I've lived at home. You know, I pay for inside this house but this house is a council property i've never even moved out of ground i've never even rented before so i do feel like i'm kind of like jumping in ball steep do you know what i mean with this mortgage and i doubt myself every day and i always feel like oh my god what if i get cancelled oh my god what if my career ends oh my god like what if i can't afford this house so basically they need my accountant to write a letter basically having my back basically vouching for me and that is so scary guys i don't want anyone vouching for me i want to be able to vouch my damn self you know and i just feel like so sad because we might not be able to get the fucking mortgage and then we'll lose the house and it's just so shit i don't want to cry i don't want to cry i need to hold these tears bitch oh god the tear just dropped out my ass get back in there girl i don't know if it's just this patch that's getting me so emotional or it's the fact that i'm due on my period soon anytime i talk about losing the house or anything to do with my career or anything like that it's such a touchy subject because i know my numbers are going down i feel less relevant it's so hard to get any videos with decent views the likes and everything i just so shit i feel like i work so hard i try my best you know and i feel like sometimes your best is not good enough and it's just so annoying i'm so sorry guys i didn't want this to be a crying segment i was trying so hard to hold it in i just feel so much pressure anyways enough about that on to more positive things i feel so happy that even though i had one of those days where i literally couldn't think of anything worse than filming or getting on my day i'm so proud of myself that i pushed through it and i still managed to get all the content that i needed the day still went on even though i'm working till like 12 a.m right now and i still got so much more that i need to do but i'm just so proud of myself that i'm even here in this spot because really all i want to do is just lay in bed and just fucking eat pizza and gain 10 more extra pounds i'm still pushing myself to try to be as consistent as i can even for all these dark times all these down times and all these negative thoughts that i have in my head i can push that aside and still focus on the bigger picture so i'm gonna 
pat myself on the damn back for that because that is hard, let me tell you. It's Wednesday, you guys know what that means. Working on this damn PC all goddamn day. Can you guys see the frustration and the focus on Graham's face right now? Tell them what's happening, babe. I'm still trying to hunt this damn PS5 down. Now it's fucking out of stock because my bank just wants to fucking mess me about. Waiting for the stupid code for my bank. I'm going to switch banks now. They've done it to me twice in a row now. If I want to do a £500 purchase, let me spend my money, okay? It's trying to tell you you should save for a house, you stupid slag. Okay, if I want to spend my money on stupid things like <laughs> PS5, let me spend my money. You've been complaining that who almost swears, look at you. Yes, because I'm frustrated I didn't get a PS5. Now I'll just go still play this PS4. <laughs> wow, first world problems, your life's so hard. Just want new things. No, you want it because you can't get it. When you actually get it, you don't even care about it. I've got a PS5 pad sitting in the room from my last sale. Can you not play it for that? No, I cannot. It's a different generation, babes. It's like you saying you got iPhone 11. There's news on iPhone 12. Would it work on iPhone 12 case? No, it won't. Because it's a different generation, isn't it? The case won't work on the old phone on the new phone, would it? Never heard you speak so much. God damn it, you're really passionate about this. Normally in the vlogs, you only mumble about two words. <laughs> Guys, this is what happens when you're a cheap bitch and you only want to spend five pounds. Teaches you not to buy a Cartier version of it. Oh my God. Have you seen the chubbiness? <laughs> it's not coming out. Roll it. Uh, roll it. You're just pulling Don't it. chubs. Uh. Stop fat shaming, yeah? Look. Oh my God. This ring was actually gold when I first got it a week ago. And I'm still going to wear it. Nah. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still twee twee Jenny for the block. There is so much twee going on. There's a twee here, a twee here, a twee there. Millions of twee there. There's a twee there. The original bad bitch is here. You're not original because this video is edited. So you're not the original, are you? Wow, Greg, you unlock something. Not just a pretty face. Good morning, everyone. Today, I have on my blue light glasses from Key Australia in the style clickbait. <laughs> Today, I'm in the office, aka my bedroom, because we are going to have a meeting with Instagram. <laughs> Me and Grant actually have meetings at the same time, which is so annoying. Grant's got a meeting with our accountant to sort out all the house stuff. And then I've got a meeting double booked at the same time with Instagram. And we're discussing something that's coming out soon. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I just finished my meeting with Instagram here. It's so crazy. I'm still not used to doing Zoom. Like, you would think a whole year of doing these online meetings, I would know exactly what to do. But I was like fumbling around like, oh my God, what button do I press? How do I turn on the microphone? They're launching a new feature called reels remix which is basically like tiktok duets so soon we're going to be able to actually react to previous reels instagram is doing fun things they're basically trying to get everything in one app instagram has just got this feeling of like every time you go in there everything's like perfection on there everyone's instagram game is like a bad bitch and then on tiktok that's when you're a bit more like relaxed a bit more funny a bit more silly so it's just like a different vibe there but i really like the idea of just having everything in one app to be honest Happy Happy Friday, gang gang! We are in the car. You want to tell them where we're going today? Going to view the property for the fourth time. Yay! A little update from earlier on this week. We are still waiting to hear back from our accountant. It is a little bit of like a cloudy moment going into this house because it's like, oh my god, what if we don't get and we're just getting our hopes up? We need to have positive thoughts. We need to manifest. We need to believe in ourselves. So this week we actually had a mortgage surveyor. I had no idea that it would happen that quickly. They literally sent out someone super, super quick. So we're waiting for some feedback and hopefully they will value the house at what we're potentially buying it for. If they value it lower than that, then we probably have to drop out on this deal because then we'd have to whip out money from our ass. So if they down valued it by 20K, then you will have to fork out that 20K as well as your deposit, your 15%. Exactly. Obviously that's like the worst case scenario because what you are buying the house for, you're hopefully, you know, wishing that it's worth that value and the value of the house will go up over time. I'm also gonna see if I can show you like little sneak peeks of the house. Every time we've been there, they're still doing works on the house. The front garden, all the parking hasn't been done yet. And also the garden hasn't been done yet. Even though, to be honest, we're probably gonna redo all the garden anyways, because 
we want to do like a massive patio we want to do like nicer steps what they're doing at the house at the moment is very very basic also something that's really annoying though that i do have to say about this house is that the garden isn't turfed it's called seeded so they're basically doing the cheaper way where they just put seeds for the grass to eventually grow whereas i thought that they'll actually put like actual grass that comes in a row and lay it out oh well it doesn't really matter because we're going to be redoing the whole garden anyways the birds are just going to come and eat the seeds I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of the bathroom. This is the family bathroom and I've always wanted like a nice big bath. So I'm going to get inside of here. This bathroom is really deep. Oh my god, it's so deep. Oh, I can't wait to have a nice bath here. Put my little TV in here, that would be so cool. We're going to get like a nice rainfall shower. And then we also don't know if we should change this into like the hidden toilets i do not know what new build does toilets like this anymore like this is so old-fashioned normally they kind of cover up the toilet so it's like a floating toilet and then over here we're even gonna get like a custom made mirror or see if we can buy one that fits this measurement exactly so we can have loads of storage and like a light up mirror here gang gang oh my god we literally just finished looking at the house and i felt all the feelings today all the feelings that you're like oh my god like this is the house or whatever i felt that today the space is just amazing really you always think oh, is it big enough for us really is this how much we're paying for i just get that feel where like oh yeah this is such a big space the reason why gran initially first read like this house was because of the bedroom wasn't it basically the bedrooms are all three and a half meters plus and another good reason is they're all kind of like just box square rooms yeah there's no weird oblong shaped rooms you know sometimes in some houses you'll get like three big bedrooms and then you get one small box corner room every single one of these rooms are like massive and huge and they're all the same size which is a little bit weird because you normally feel like the master would be like the biggest one the master is slightly bigger than all the other rooms but when you go into every single room each room looks really really big also today downstairs it just looks so much bigger than i remember it we also looked outside in the garden today as well and it's so deceiving this house because when you look into the garden from inside the house it doesn't look that big but when you're actually in the garden it's actually so much wider than you think it is it's quite weird because we always said that we want a four bedroom with a study right or a five bedroom or a five bedroom so we can take a study and have four bedrooms to spare but this one has four bedrooms and no study i know it's so everything that we thought we wanted it just goes out the window because when you just find that house you're just like fuck it you'll just make do and you'll make it work we decided to go with four bedroom with no study is because the loft is humongous it's ridiculously big when we do have some money and we convert that the space is going to be amazing yeah that could be like a games room up there it could be like two extra bedrooms they'll turn into a six bedroom home i don't think that'll be any time soon though because that's like a big like i don't know 40 grand project in itself so there's still so many other things we need to do like the garden we want to get a new car just so many things that we want to do but at least that's like a, a goal in the future that we have and then that could be our version of renovating it's a long-term plan guys previously when we went to go look at the house the driveway had all these skips there there was so many like bricks everywhere but today all the shingle was laid down so we actually got to see how big the driveway is and it's so big it literally can fit like three cars on the side three cars at the front so like six cars all together with the garage door on it was like so nice and white and it matched the house it literally looks like a house that a kid would draw it's like a perfect perfect little house little garage but today definitely confirmed that i really really do like this house and it's definitely worth the drive okay so i'm at my sister's house now you know if i ever went to enter like a beauty contest this would be my hidden talent to be a hula hoop girl i can do this for hours look at this guy see that i can turn around next exercise is a skipping rope oh my god my tits are bouncing down my ass <laughs> my ass is proper jiggling hey guys do you want to see a bit of shimmy shimmy i wanted to show my sister some of the gadgets that i bought so she just tried some hula hoop right so shall i show you the smart hula hoop that i got okay go on we got the dangling ball here okay <laughs> imagine how dangerous this would be for a guy oh my god <laughs> Fred. You have to 
wiggle your body. Yes, you have to wiggle as well. I wiggle, but it doesn't really matter. This one, you have to work at it. Look, guys, oh. so good. Look at all my sister's perfumes, guys. She has so many, and yet you still smell like poo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> guys, I'm on this mission to find the perfect signature scent. The signature scent at the moment is B.O. <laughs> and also, tell me how someone actually kills a cactus. I swear they say that cactus are not killable, but she managed to do it. So where are we going today, Homelina? We're going to my favorite garden center. This place is like a dream world is like garden disneyland obviously before i never had no desire for interior design no desire for plants but i think in my new house i'm gonna have like a theme of like black white and gray and just like loads of plants Ooh. so that's what i'm looking at today so i just want to get like a little scope of like how much your plants would be because i had no idea like plants are expensive. hundreds yeah like they're so expensive but are you looking for plant inside outside i want plants that are easy to live with i don't want to be watering plants every single day they do a load of fake plant here like their artificial plant range is like on another one and it's like so nice, much variety nice one. yeah and expensive yeah <laughs> if it's nice danny and his take here as well because i know he's super into plants i love that like, the zen buddha little buddha vibes you everywhere. know what funny thing that i was like watching on the only ways essex they were talking about this they said that all the essex people they've got a buddha in their living room <laughs> okay yeah. so we finally arrived at roxy manor oh you have to wait for the green light oh okay we've got the green light to go oh hello titty <laughs> you want to come home with me I love these trees where they kind of like wrap around. It always makes the house so much more expensive. We should put one of these outside of our door. Look at all the little bonsai trees that they have going on here. I think this one's nice. I know, that one's really nice. The price tag's nice too. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> that is crazy for that little tiny tree, guys. Grand was saying this is probably more my plant. <laughs> The ones made from plastic. <laughs> I have considered this, you know. It looks quite cute like this. Yeah, it looks like a nice little pom pom. You guys, I really like this little palm tree. All right, these are the type of plants that I definitely want to plant in our future garden, where it's just leafy greens, not too many bugs, no hay fever. These are so cute. I love these big trees. Okay, guys, so in our house, we have a huge cherry tree. It's just a few little buds at the moment. That's so crazy that our tree probably started out once upon a time like this. How cute. Look at that price though. Oh, it's so comfy. I like it. Rocking away. Right, so we're looking at garden furniture and I feel like all garden furniture, it has like this kind of rattan woven material, which I don't like. And we saw this and I was like, oh, I really like this material. It's so much nicer. But look at that price tag though. Your girl's got expensive taste. Guys, look how cool this is. So basically they do like meals already made, but it actually looks so nice. It looks like a little meal prep. And it says, we cook, we freeze, you heat, and you enjoy. And there's such like, cool things on here. There's like lasagna, there's lamb hot pot, chicken and mushroom lasagna. There's like cottage pie, chili con carne. And then also they have like a pick and mix section of frozen stuff. So you can get some chips, some potatoes, hash browns. And then over here, there's like pastries, you get cinnamon swirls, chocolate twists so cool and then on the other side there's like waffles frozen berries like this is so amazing it literally reminds me of trader joe's okay so me and my sister have literally just ordered some clothing from she in we've got so many questions and so many comments saying can you try some stuff from she in so i actually ordered us some cute stuff <gasps> and i ordered it in your size and my size oh so that'll can't be wait. really fun i think because we're basically going to try on the same outfit is it affordable it was actually so affordable so a lot what of the is affordable tops, like a lot much? of the tots were like six pounds seven Oh, okay. pound like dresses were 15 pounds which was really really good the website was quite hard to navigate because there was so much other stuff like they sell hair extensions home accessories on there and stuff how long was the delivery i bet you it's from china i think it's gonna come on the 6th of april and that was with express shipping oh my god okay, that's quite a bit away i can't wait for that actually yes yeah, so make you sure can see you my curvaceous body me and my sister haven't done a haul for so long so you guys have that to look forward to also this week we have our decluttering video that's going on Ooh, up as that's well. fun. are we going to have any more packages that we're going to make available yes so on wednesday make sure your notification bells are turned on i'm going to release just a few more packages we actually haven't got that much so if you guys are interested make sure you are fast and that's it for this week's vlog guys thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in next week's video bye, bye.
today is Sunday. As you guys are watching this, I am filming this in the morning. Hello, future twee. This is what the patch looks like after seven days. It actually stuck on so much better than I thought it would be. I thought that it would get all horrible and linty. The fabric is actually really waterproof and it hasn't got unstuck or anything like that. I feel like this patch has made me feel really emotional. And I don't know if it's because I'm meant to be starting my period this week. Am I still going to have a period even though I have a patch on? I have no idea. So we are going to take off the patch. My leg is hairy. It's like waxing my leg. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Look at that patch of exfoliated skin now. Oh, look how dirty this patch is. Oh, nasty. Oh my god, it literally waxed my leg hair. Okay, so this week I'm gonna put the patch on another leg because you're meant to interchange where you put the patch so that your skin doesn't get irritated. And I think I'm gonna slightly shave the area before I stick the patch on because my thighs be hairy, okay? And I don't wanna be going through the pain every time I rip off the band-aid. My skin is so dry. Oh, so smooth now. I should probably shave my thighs more often. I haven't shaved my legs since last summer. Right, we're opening up a new patch, guys. This angle makes my ass look fat. There we go, stick it on the patch with no hair. Oh my God, I don't think I've done it straight. Okay, so here is the patch. Mm, this contraception journey, I'm taking you guys along with me. So last week we still had to use other forms of contraception because the patch was not activated yet, but apparently from today, I am protected. I guess from this moment, the freak can be unleashed. I need a freak, freak, freak every day of the week, week, week. Welcome to vlog week 64. 64 bitches. That sounds so slow. I have to fast forward that. Welcome to vlog week. 64. You shut up. Welcome to vlog week 64. We're going through the process of Back off. I tried to buy a fake knockoff version of the Cartier love ring. Did I take it off? It's not love ring, it's an infinity ring. Oh. Guys, I tried to buy a fake five pound knockoff of the Cartier love ring and look what happened to my you finger. Say again. What? It's not love ring, it's an affinity ring. Oh my god. Guys, this is what happens when you're a cheap bitch and you only want to spend £5 for a dupe of the Cartier Infinity Ring. Come on, babe. I finally got it right. Shut up, you slag. Can you hear this? Come me, swallow me. Can you hear the B.O.? Can you hear this? Such a loser. Oh! That's so sad. What about this? Can you hear this? In here? First time, boy. What are you wearing? It's a new trend. If you wanna wear a hood, don't wanna wear a jacket. Don't mock my hood tie, okay? No, I'm joking, really. This is for my jacket. Just gonna take it out to wash this part only. Because <laughs> I don't wanna wash the whole jacket and move the jacket. Hit it with karate, chap. <laughs> so, where are we off to today, Hongalina? We're going to my favorite. Oh. <laughs> We're going to my favorite concert. Don't disgust. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm. That is so disgusting. Don't do it. I understand that. <laughs> 